Yeah, hi guys, good morning. So let's see. So platform app builder with certification maintenance. So here we have a uh, two modules. So one is a multiple uh, multi choice, and second one is a, a small scenario. So we'll see first one multi choice. Come here. The first question: What component customized the related list directly from the Lightning App Builder? So that is a dynamic related list. Dynamic related list. We can customize the dynamic related list directly in the LWC. Next is where can a debug flow test be tested and saved? Where it is? Which automation tool? That is the flow builder next so what action enables smart email auto response and flow builder hmm? which one case email response classify case create article recommendation flow entry conditions case article recommendations next custom address fields improves address data accuracy for your uh, users are uh, using a uh, what type of uh, a list a uh, what type of uh, a list uh, what type of uh, a list state and the country territory pick list next so what are the benefits of using dynamic forms on the uh, record pages so place fields anywhere on the page more standard objects are supported enter the data automatically a b b c so a b that is d next restriction or a scoping rules now allow multiple values so when should double quotes uh, surround a value what is the value is unknown if a single value contains a comma so when your value is variable formatting well see once this Double quotes, double quotes, double quotes. Contains the comma. Now check this. Yes, done. So we have a second module is this. So that is the hands on. Got it. Now we go to the second one. Here we have a hands on. What's that hands on? See here. Enable permission set and the permission set group assignments with the expiration dates this may be already enabled in your org so we'll check this right before going to check the challenge we'll see whether this one is enabled or not next so create a permission set the name or report the permissions right just we can assign this system permissions to this permission set what are they create and customize reports create a report folders schedule reports then so assign this permission set to an active user okay but uh, we need to specify the expiration date is 30 30 days got it so now so launch your playground launch your playground then click on here setup click on setup in the left side so what's that enter permission set uh, group assignments with expiration date so what's that here you can find out a user management settings user management settings user management settings in this user management settings just you can find out the permission sets see here permission sets and uh, permission set to group assignment with expiration dates whether it is enabled or not see here this one is enabled this one is enabled next what we have to do so we need to create a permission set we need to create a permission set select the permission set what's the name the name is a uh, report the permissions the name is a report the permissions here when you select the permission set here we have a new option is in uh, click on that new uh, what was the name report uh, permissions then click on save 
then click on save then next step is what system permissions system permissions scroll down a little bit here we have a, a system permissions select the system permissions then so we need to give the permissions to these three options if we have edit button is there now click on that uh, edit button so what was the first one create and a customize the reports you need to check this come here see we have a lot of values is there now just click on a control f and uh, enter that value see here create and a custom reports check this box next uh, the second one create a report uh, folders create a report uh, folders see. you need to check this box also next schedule reports third one is what scheduled reports you need to check this one also so i checked that three then after we have a save button is there click on that save click on that save right see here so system is asking the confirmation then click on save click on save next see here we have a manage assignments why because we need to assign to an active user see here assign the permission set to an active user come here click on manage assignments right side we have add assessment is there now click on that add assignment so who is the active user select this user and scroll down click on next next so what we have to do next here we need to provide the time that is 30 days select the second option select the 30 days select the 30 days then click on assign then click on assign done so one assignment was successful now you can come to your task so challenge this task click on challenge take some time yes completed so platform app builder certification maintenance done 